What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Unite and ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves a dope video for you guys today. Today, we're showcasing one of the best range attackers in the game, which is Cinderace. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. It really does go a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that's been going out across the channel. You guys also want to catch more content from me your boy is streaming five plus days every single week over on twitch link is down in the description below jeans 25 on twitch hit that follow button and turn on notifications so you know when i go live but yeah cinderace love this pokemon think he is so good in this game he's all around a great pokemon for that top and bottom lane and he's just a great attacker in the end he pairs up well with big defensive bulky pokemon and he rocks out from there but uh we're gonna go into our battle prep and showcase the best held items for cinderace and these three are where it's at for cinderace we got the muscle band the scope lens and the float stone the reason all these items work so well on him is because he is a physical attacker who needs speed and is just trying to put out as much damage as he can so with the muscles ban we get a damage increase by two percent get attack plus seven and increases more when you level up and basic attack speed boost more and more every time you level up so he's gonna be able to hit hard and hit faster with this item on Next item, we got that scope lens right here, baby. Scope lens is amazing for crits and critical hit ratio going up. So its crit hit rate goes up by a couple percent and its critical hit damage goes up even more, which is awesome. Do more damage and get some more crits for bigger damage and more KOs throughout the match. Final item for this Pokemon is gonna be that Float Stone. Float Stone rocks out on all range attackers in my opinion. You get that attack boost and you get that movement speed increase as well. So we're gonna be able to move faster and hit harder all around. So yeah, these are the best three items for Cinderace. I don't even think there's a question for him because he is a physical attacker and these just all work perfectly to what you're trying to accomplish when you're playing this Pokemon. Next thing you know, or not next thing you know, next thing we're gonna go is actually show off the battle items. So what is the best battle item for Cinderace? Cinderace is so versatile with uh, battle items. You can really use a lot of these. I do not have all of them unlocked, but the best ones for them, I think are gonna be either X attack, potion or eject button you can go with any of them whichever you really prefer personally when i'm playing cinderace i like to rock with this potion considering he's a little squishy and he doesn't have a lot of ways to recover in hp so every 30 seconds we can pop this thing get a little help bit of health back and rock it in the battle x attack also works really well because you're just trying to put out a lot of damage to get ko's with cinderace so when you're in a pinch or have a team battle going on you can pop x attack get enough more damage going out there and pick up a ko eject button also works great because you can dip out of situations or push yourself up in front of battles but there's the held items, there's your battle items for Cinderace, so let's go into his moveset and talk about the best moves for this Pokemon. So starting out with his first move is Ember. You can either go with Ember or Low Sweep. Ember is obviously the one you want to go with, so you can start getting kills on the wild Pokemon and leveling up quicker. Eventually you'll unlock Low Sweep and then you can start changing up the moves. But from Ember, you can either go to Blaze Kick or Pyro Ball. Personally, I think Pyro Ball is the way to go. It is a ranged move, it is not a short hit, but if you can aim it well, you're going to be able to do massive damage and you can hit through multiple Pokemon doing more damage and uh, getting more wild enemies kills for level up. So what Pyro Ball does is user kicks the ball of flame in the designated direction, dealing damage to the opposed Pokemon, and leaving them burn at the same time. Once it gets upgraded, it reduces the cooldown of Flame Charge or Faint, which is his secondary move down here, uh, when this move hits. So every time it hits, it's going to actually take down the cooldown, which rocks out really, really well. So Pyro Ball is the way I go. Blaze Kick you can also go with, but I just think Pyro Ball is the best thing to go for. Next move I like to go for with uh, Pyro Ball is going to be Flame Charge. So what Flame Charge does, it's, it's basically low sweep. It's a dash, but you can dash through hit some Pokemon, and dash out. The user charges forward with a Cloak of Flame, dealing damage to any opposing Pokemon in it. When you upgrade it, the user's next boost attack after this move also decreases the movement speed. So that is great. I can dash up when this thing's upgraded, hit somebody, slow them down, and just get after them from there. I'm not going to lie, Faint is also really, really good with this Pokemon if you know how to use it, but I just like Flame Charge a lot better paired up with Pyro Ball, so I can dash in, dash out, hit some Pyro Balls, and just keep pestering around with damage throughout the battle but what faint actually does is it's a buff move so whenever you use it you get a buff you increase your movement speed for a short period of time and it makes you invisible for a split second or invincible so you can't take damage and all that good stuff but yeah in my opinion way to go is pyro ball and flame charge rocking out with that unite move and then you got your normal stuff with your ability blaze and your basic attack but there's a showcase for him that's how you build him that's how you use his items let's hop into our first battle and show his pokemon off in the rank ladder so your boy is sitting at expert rank right now. We are in class two. Hopefully we can get that rank up and keep rocking out from there. But we're hopping into our first battle. Hopefully we can lock in Cinderace. Because the worst is when I'm trying to showcase a Pokemon and somebody else takes them. I'm like, dude, come on. I'm just trying to make a video for, for the family, for the Jeans Online Gaming community. And someone else is taking my pick. So let's see if we can try to get over to him and lock him down. Do I have him? 
I did get him. Okay, cool. So I got him. Let me lock this top lane here. Hopefully someone can go jungle. There it is. Gengar is going to rock that jungle. Cannot have anybody better than Gengar on your team. Gengar right now is the best Pokemon in this game. Let's go into our battle prep. We're rocking Potion. We have our held items ripping out here. And they're not all the way leveled up because I need more of those points. But they're leveled up good enough to actually use. But I need to get some more points. I really do need to get some more points because I would love to level up these items to their fullest potential. But I've been rocking out with Cinderace on stream. I actually just had a 29 kill game with Cinderace. It was amazing on my stream. So if you guys are not uh, followed to my Twitch page, head down the link in the description below. Hit that follow button. But yeah, got 29 kills with this Pokemon in the top lane. And the whole lobby had, I think, a combined of eight. So I was just steamrolling, dominating every single fight I was into. But I'm really liking the team. We have Gengar, Zorora. I actually wouldn't only like either Gengar or Zorora. I would rather this guy change Zorora because Zorora is a jungler. But we already have Gengar in jungle. But I do like Gardevoir. I do like Slowbro. I think we have a solid team. I think we have a solid team. But guys, let me know for question of the day. What Pokemon should I showcase next on the channel? Considering we're doing Cinderace now, we already did Greninja. I'm planning on doing every single character when I have them unlocked. But I have enough money to actually start buying another character. So I'm thinking of either doing Gardevoir or Gengar. So let me know your guys' uh, answers in the comment section down below. I'd love to know so I can bring out some more Pokemon Unite content for you guys. But who is this guy? Or who's going to come top lane with me? I'm hoping it's Slowbro, but Slowbro did say he was going to go bot lane. I'd rather have Gardevoir over Zorora because Zorora's a jungler. So we'll see how this one plays out. We'll see how this one plays out. But like I said in the showcase, what you want to do, start off with burn right away. Just click that click that right bumper. I got Ember. Get an eye after it. I can throw some burns on Pokemon left and right. And just go from there. So Gardevoir is going to rock out with us, which I really like. And we're going to get after it. So there's that. We'll get rid of you. And we're going to tee off on this guy. So there's me. Get a little bit of level up there. Get a little bit stronger and rock out from there. All right, let's roll. Get these eight palms down. Put my burn over on you. And can I get the KO on that? I did not. Oh, I did indeed. Lovely. Lovely. Got my low kick ready to go. Low kick actually does a little bit of damage when you slide into an opposing Pokemon or a wild Pokemon. Let's see if I can steal his Corphish from this guy. Get the XP. It'd be really nice if I can. Oh, I did not get it. And Ghastly is in his top lane. Which I'm not too worried about having Ghastly uh, going up against Ghastly in the top lane. Considering Ghastly is uh, a jungler. And if he's not getting high levels, he's, he's rather easy to take out. What is he doing? He's trying to score. Oh, yo, he has like a scoring thing on him. Oh, he eject button out, yo. He just ran right up and scored. That's actually kind of nutty. That is actually kind of nutty. Is, does he have like a scoring shield on? Oh, my God. Absolutely just rolled in on me. Yo, chill on me. Yo, I need help. I need help, Rolts. What are you doing? Rolts. He's standing still under tower. Did he go AFK? Bro, he was just standing still under tower. What are you doing, Rolts? I'm coming over. There you are, buddy. Finally, hopefully we can make up for that. For my death there. And Ninetales is here teeing off, dude. Ninetales is so strong. Our Rolts is only level 3. I'm going to go up here and try to get some more levels. Farm it up. Hopefully Gengar can come across and help us out here. But oh, dude, uh, Absol came out of nowhere. That's what you always got to watch out for. Which always gets me every here and there is the jungler coming out of the central lane and just trying to pick up KOs on you guys. Which it got me that time. Got me good. If I can take out you. Bro, if that Rolts like stepped up and kind of helped me out, we potentially could have taken out that Absol. I know Srox is somewhere over here. There you are. There's Ghastly running up here. Let me see if I can launch a burn on him. He's just a scoring machine, this thing. He's a haunter now. He's just teeing off. He's just a jack button in and getting a couple points. I mean, that's fine by me. Come here, boy. Come here. What you guys want? Come here. Come here. Yo, haunter, you should have came through the other side for the flank. That could have been big for us. That could have been big for us. Zorora's down in the jungle. I think Zorora needs to go help out that, uh... That, what's it called? That bot lane. I'm going to actually evolve into the boot here. And get after it this way. Alright, let's go. So, Snorlax is teeing off over there. Let's see if I can get rid of them. Yeah, yo, I just helped him out tremendously, dude. He's gonna go down. That Gengar is starting to get some mean levels, which is huge. Which is huge. He's level 7. We're gonna get rid of this thing. Can I get level 6? And the combis are spawning perfect time for us. What I mean by spawning perfect time is none of their enemies are around here, so we can farm these up and get all the levels to ourselves. It's huge. That's huge for us. Look at this. Getting right back into it. I blaze kick on this thing. I really just want that best between. Uh, but I'm just going to keep farming levels because I want to get Cinderace. I need my boy Cinderace. Oh, burn on this thing. Rotom did spawn. But I actually almost have. I wonder if this will give me Cinderace. That could be big if it does. It does. Can I dip? Need some HP. Yo, absolutely leaves like a scratch mark on my screen. Don't like that one bit. 
How much damage is he doing over here? Come here, baby. Yo, did I not get Powerball yet? I did not unlock it. A little sweep up on you. Did I got you? Did I get you? Oh my god, dude. That was so close. Alright, we're fine. We're fine. Let's get rid of this thing. I'm just going to line this up so when they come around this top lane, I can Powerball through. Oh, come on. Give me that Powerball. Are you kidding me? I'm going to die here. Bruh. Bruh, what you mean? What you mean? That's whack. That is whack. We're not playing bad here. Their absolute's really coming in at the right time. And just picking up KOs onto us. But again, most of these matches will come down to Zapdos. It will come down to Zapdos every single time. So, I wouldn't worry if you're going down a little early. Like the, like we are right now. Because we can just steal Zapdos at the end and end up picking up a W for, for this game. So, let's just farm up. I need some more levels. Gengar can potentially carry us this game too. Which he can do most games. He's just an absolute beast. And he's farmed up pretty high right now. I take you out. Get him out of here. So, you're dead. Let's roll up. And I'm just going to keep destroying enemies. We got these core fishes and stuff. Here comes uh, Snorlax coming out of that uh, that lane right there. And I'm just going to steal this boot flant because the jungler is out there. I'm not going to take this out. So I can just get a lot of XP here and get the buff from the boot flant. And of course you take it from me, dude. I wanted it. I wanted it. I was going after it. And Gengar is teeing off. So I wonder what that top lane's up to. Curlia, you need to just go farm some levels. Don't tell me you took that from me too. Yo, come on, Curlia. Come on, Curlia. I'm going to rock down this bot lane. We're going to stack this one. Stacking sometimes is really good when you come out for a flank like this. Like, look at this. We have two of these guys coming out here. There's Snorlax. I'm going to dip up on him. And where'd he go? He's up this way. Did I unite move him? Oh, there you go. Get him, Curlia. Get him, Curlia. Good work. See, that's how it's done. We get a nice little flank going, and now we have a lead. We have a lovely little lead. So, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep farming up these uh these wild area enemies. And I'm going to try to sneak in these, uh, these Pokeballs here. Because I have enough to take out Tower, so... And, of course, he's right here. Dip up here. And I'll... You guys seeing this? You guys seeing this, right? My bar went from here, this is full health, to down to here in one move. Like, how is that possible? How boosted is this dude? Can I get up on the top lane? It's not let me go on the top lane. There, I, you know, we'll just, we'll just shoot there. We'll just shoot there. Right, do I have any kills? I don't know if I have any kills. I have no kills. It means you gotta be better than this. We gotta be better than this. But we're gonna keep ripping here. We're gonna follow up with this Gengar, and I feel like we can we'll be fine with this game. I've been farming up a lot of enemies here. Got that power ball over there. Do a little bit of damage. I do have my ult. Why is this thing so strong? Why is Absol so strong? Let me just ult on you guys. Get some damage on you guys. Send this power ball. Yeet. Gonna keep rocking out from there. I got power ball plus, and I should be able to take out Snorlax. Yep, there's KO on Snorlax. Get rid of you. There's two KOs, and there's a triple piece for your boy. Triple Piece brings us right back into this game. Let's rush up. Let's get going. They can take out Dreadnought as all these guys are dead. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Your boy's right back in the game. That's how strong Cinderace is. He can just uh, pick up some mean KOs, especially after his ult, because he hits so quick in just rapid succession. He's just going off. There's Snorlax, and I can tee off on the Snorlax, actually. I ain't gonna lie. I can tee off on the Snorlax. Snorlax is level 9. Dangar with a double kill. Absol is coming in here, and I'm dead again, aren't I? Like, wait, well, there is nothing you can do up against that. There's nothing you can do, because by the time I see it from the map, he dashes through, and then he's just on top of me. And when he dashes, then I dip out with my dash. Then he has another dash, and he's slashing up on me. He takes two hits to kill me. That's the only Pokemon that's doing work on me, is that Absol. He has six kills, and it might all be on me. <laughs> but we're doing just fine here. We have two minutes and 50 seconds left. Zapdos is going to spawn very, very soon. So I'm going to come down here for the flank. If I can pick up a kill here. I'm on this level 13, which would be really, really nice. Gengar is chilling down here. Oh, yeah, Gengar. There you are, Gengar. Get him out of here. Get that thing out of here. So there's KO on the Gengar. I'll take the assist on that. And we'll roll up to this lane here. I'm level 13 now. So I'm higher level than most people on our team, which is really, really good. I've just been dying a lot to the Absol because there's nothing that I can do about it. That's what. That's one problem with this game right now is the... Uh, is the... Uh, how unbalanced it is sometimes. I gotta, I gotta play distance with that Absol. I think it ulted, right? Step back. It's not like I'm not worried about you. Don't really want to mess with Absol. I did have it low, but if that if that Slowbro was ready to like push up with me, I would have did it. But I'd rather play safe. We do have a lead. Those Aptos did spawn. Let's step back. Get out of this Gengar's way. Hit him with that. I should have another dash ready to go. Oh my god. So close to killing this thing. Come on. Get up on that. Get up on him. Come on, he's, oh my god, he's one tap. And we forced him to use his ult. That is big. 
That's big. I do have my ult ready to rock, so. Let's try to get rid of these guys first. Gang up with a double kill. And we should be able to steal Zapdos so and pick up a win in this first battle. Which is awesome. Which could be awesome. I see you guys coming in here. Is that my teammate? He bound him. Let's keep teeing off on these guys. I'm going to save my ult for... Oh, we have this in the bag. I'm going to save my ult. Just in case they come over here. Because you guys already know, it comes down to whoever gets Zapdos is going to win the game. And there we go. We get Zapdos. We clear the lanes. We're all sitting at 50 Pokeballs, which is huge. And their zones are defenseless, which means we can walk up and score points. And they're doubled. So, it's broken right now. There's 100 points for us. Let's make it 200. Let's make it 300. I didn't score mine. I gotta get up on mine. So, I might just ult in. How much time do I have left to get in there? I think it's still there. Yep, there's another 100 points. I can actually drop my ult, too. Bang. Dip back. And just send this power ball up on you. Can I get a KO here before I dip out? I got one. I got one. Beautiful. 500 points, I think it was. Or was that 400 extra points? Just because we took out Zapdos. It's broken, but I'm glad we got to show off Cinderace in that top lane. In a battle that we didn't play. Like, I think we played decent there. I just think we could play a lot better. So, hopefully in the second battle that we showcase, we can play a lot better and not get absolutely dumped on by, the, by an Absol. Because I think that's the only Pokemon we, we really died to. Gengar did hard carry us with that, but I feel like we played positioning really well and played our levels really well as well. Because that's a huge part of this game is not like, it's not focused on, on kills. It's more so focusing on leveling up your Pokemon and just getting stacked for late game. But we'll get on this Pikachu. Should be able to take him out no problem here. Try and get rid of him. He's going to get rid of me. He ulted. it. <laughs> but everyone knows when it's at the end of battle, you're just looking for KOs. So we just hopped right up on that Pikachu. Look for that KO and he ended up using his ult. But there's a big victory for us. 692. The 190. Like I said, it always comes down to Zapdos every single time. So always be prepared for Zapdos. Be prepared to defend it or try to get rid of it in order to get yourself some win. But let's hop into our second battle and try to showcase Cinderace one more time in that top or bottom lane. So we got hard carried by the Gengar in our first battle. Not too shabby. I don't mind it. Gengar is probably the best Pokemon in this game right now. So he was just doing his job. We're hopping into our second battle here. Might be the last battle for today's video. Depends how it goes. But let's try to show off Cinderace. Get some more kills with them and play a little bit better in this battle. Considering the last one, like I said, we played decent. But I feel like I can play a lot better than that. So let's lock in Cinderace here. And tell everybody, yo, your boy's going top lane. We need jungler. So hopefully that other guy does take a jungle. So let's see how this one goes. Goes Lucario Strax. No, we need jungler. There's Gengar, yo. I would love a Gengar. Give us a Gengar in the jungle. Give us a Gengar in the jungle. Or Ninetales can play jungle as well. Absol can play jungle. Let's see who they pick. There's Gengar. I'm gonna lock in mine. Make sure I'm going Cinderace because, again, I'm making a video on Cinderace. Why would I use somebody else? There goes Gengar in the central lane. That is huge for us. That is huge for us. So we got Gengar in central. Me in top. Um. Ninetales is going to head to that bottom lane. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. And then just give me slow, bro. I'll take slow, bro. Okay, Garchomp and Ninetales in that bot lane. And me and slow, bro, on top. I'm with it. With Gengar in the jungle, we should be able to rock out and look to go back to back in today's video. Which would be awesome. Which would be awesome. So their team's not looking bad. Hopefully, Crustle's not rocking out in the top lane. Everyone knows he is a pain in the neck to deal with. He's so bulky and he's very, very strong. Especially paired up with the right Pokemon. So if they pair him up with like Cinderace or Gardevoir, that could be tough. But I think their Ninetales is going to be the jungler. And I think they're going to split Cramo and Cinderace. Or split uh, Gardevoir and Cinderace with two range attackers. But we'll see what they do. We'll see what they do. But I like having Slowbro on my uh, side with Cinderace because he's bulky and he has that bound. Which legit like holds somebody up in the air. And you can just keep firing away and just dealing damage onto him. And it's pretty much a free KO. But well, let's rock after it. Let's go. Ember right off the rip, like I've been saying. And let's try to get some levels here. Go, go, go into that central lane. Don't take her kill. There you go. He goes into that central lane. And we're going to get after here. Up the Ember on you. And let's rock it. Let's rock it, baby. Dude, Slowbro was sick. I love having Slowbros on team. I like how they, they added some cool Pokemon that are not, like, too, like, meta Pokemon. Like, uh, like Eldegoss or Slowbro. Like, you would think they would add, like, Blastoise before all them. But they added them and Crustle is cool. And it, it works so well. And I just got... Did that on me. That's fine. Slowbro's healing up. I'm just gonna keep teeing off on these enemies. Teeing off on the wild boys. Because you guys know it's all about the levels. It's all about the levels here. If I can move up here with my score bunny. A bunny that is full of scores. Maybe I can tee off on you guys. I know he's gonna freeze me and slow me down. I can dip back a little bit. And just keep my range. Because I am a range attacker. So I'd like to just keep range on me. Let's rock up from there. Do that. And and here comes the jungle. I'm dead, aren't I? 
Oh, uh, nope, have dash. Let's run it. Beautiful. Get back slow, bro. I'm gonna steal citrus berry and be here, ready to help you out. Come here. Come here. There you go. And now our jungler comes out of the woodworks. Yes, sir. Yeah, I need to get back in. Shouldn't have pushed up like that, but we're fine. We did our job. Let's farm up on this core fish and go from there. So I had a good dip out. That's why I really like having a uh, Cinderace with a with the dash move over the, over faint as his final move is for situations like that. Nice. He, he evolves and they are teeing off on the special queen. Let's see if we can steal it. Yes, I stole it. <laughs> All right, let's go here. I'm gonna pop my potion, get a little bit more HP. Again, this is another reason why I like to have potion on my uh my score bunny. But I'm just watching a map. I don't want that jungler coming out the jungle again. Let's get some HP. And keep teeing off from here. Because I'm almost level 5. And that means I get a nice, lovely little reboot. And here comes Crustle out and about. I got reboot ready to rock. Throw that burn on them. Oh, of course I can't. I was frozen. I think Ninetales is really, really strong as well. I think it's just a great all-around Pokemon. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see who's over here. We're playing this one nice and slow. Which I, this is how you should be playing. You don't want to push up too much and force, uh, force a death here. Let's see if I can steal that KO. Did I get it? Nope. Yeah, I think he got it. Or maybe our Slowbro got it. But it's always nice to try to steal KOs from uh, opposing, po opposing opponents while Pokemon. Because you take their XP and they don't farm levels as much. Which is huge. We'll play slow here. I'm just going to go destroy this Corefish. Grab myself a Citrus Berry. Get some more levels. And I'm trying to get to level 7. Because once you get level 7, you get that Cinderace. And you can just rock out from there. I'm going to go here. They're all up on our tail here. Let's put a burn on you. And just keep going from here. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, lovely little damage there. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I can pop my potion. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And take them down on the HP board, which is big. And now we can farm up a lot of these levels here. And almost get myself a Cinderace, which could be big. So you can do all damage to the combi. And little one Nighthill sitting there doing all damage to the combi, which I'm totally fine. And here goes Cramorant coming out the jungle. We have to back a little bit. And yeah, our boy Gengar comes in at the right time, which is awesome. I take care of you. And let's rope up on here. I can keep getting up on these guys. Nice. Yo, Gengar coming out the jungle. Huge. Huge for us. Now we can tee off on this guy. 3v1. I got to pop my potion here. And I died to the Cramo, dude. Cramo is a beast. Cramo is a beast. I thought we were going to at least have that Crustle. Which I wouldn't have mind dying if we would have at least got that Crustle. But I'm totally cool with it. I can roll through here. I'm going to take this Gengar's, uh, this Gengar's, what's called, Booth Lamp. Just so I get the evolution here. And then I can be thriving. I can be thriving. Throw a burn on this thing, and we should be able to rope out from here and get going. All right, let's go. So we got Cinderace now. We have Flame Charge and Pyro Ball, and we're already level 8 because what they take out Dreadnought, they did. Dreadnought is so big. So if you guys do not know what Dreadnought does, he gives your team XP, your whole team XP, and now we have a shield on top of us. So that's just basically more HP. And now we can roll out here. I got plenty of Pokeballs. And he's getting some KOs, which means we can clear out this thing and take out Tower. Beautiful. Let's get it. Good work, Gengar. Jungler is doing wonders, dude. That's why it's always nice to have Gengars on your team. Because, again, they're broken right now. They're top-tier Pokemon. And is Rotom up here? Rotom is up here. So we'll get rid of Rotom. But they're top-tier junglers. And once they get rolling, they can legit win you guys' matches. The Gengar is just so good right now. We'll take out you. I have my Unite move ready to roll. And I'm about to be level 10. Lovely. Let's get rolling here. Let's get rolling here. Top lane is struggling a little, little bit. Or bottom lane is struggling a little bit. That's what I meant to say. But we have Rotom right here. Which means if we can get rid of this zone, it's going to make it defenseless. Which is, could be big. And I'm just going to Pyro Ball into you. Or not Pyro Ball. Use my ult. T off on you. Now goal zone defenseless. We're scoring tons of points. Which is amazing. And I can get rid of you. Can I get rid of you? Yep. Get that. And his goal zone still defenseless. And we have him there. I should be able to KO him actually. Nope. He was able to swing back under tower. And now we're just going to dip back. Now I'm just going to dip back. We got Cramorant chilling here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. We got a huge lead. Cramorant should come around somewhere. Where's he at? Did he hop over? There he is. There he is. Get him. Get that Cramorant. Oh, he's Alton, dude. He's Alton. Cramorant's good. Cramorant is chilling good. How am I doing? I have zero kills, zero assists, but dude, I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. We're showcasing uh, Cinderace and how to play him. So, I'm fine with this match right here. There's not, I don't think there's a lot of kills right now. Let's see there's total. Yeah, there's not a lot of kills in this match. This is a solid Pokemon Unite match right now. A solid match all around. We're playing positioning really well. Leveling up. This is how I, I realized how I should be playing. Instead of going for kills and all that. Just farm up these enemies. Like, I play for wins, not for kills, so. We've been rocking out. We've been rocking out. We had a great day today on stream. We had a... Went on a nice little win streak. Gengar is going to carry us again. That's all we need. And we're going to be thriving. We're going to be thriving. I should be back in that top lane. Russell is up there scoring. We're going to go back here. 
loop around here, get a core fish kill. Just get my levels. Because it comes down, every match comes down to uh, the Zapdos. So if I can just farm levels and get the Zapdos, that's how you win. That is how you win. And I'm not even kidding. That's just how you win in this game. So there's more Pokeballs over here. I think it's a five batch here. And we're talking is going to spawn in just a little bit. So I'm just going to wait for him and play this game the way it should be played. Let's go here. They got Dreadnought, which is tough. And Rotom is spawning right now. So Rotom spawn. And I just got to watch out for their enemies. So I'm going to stay near my tower. So I don't really get teed off on. And just keep going from here. And can I take out Rotom by myself? Look how fast I attack. That is huge. Oh, there's Crustle. Get back. Crustle, what you want, fool? It back again. Russell, get out of my face. I'm trying to get this Rotom. Can I get under tower, please? Thank you, Gengar. Hey, Gengar, how you doing? Let me get the Citrus Berry. And they're gonna take a Rotom. Do not take a Rotom. Hopefully, he doesn't get it. Of course, he gets Rotom. Of course, he gets Rotom. Of course, he gets Rotom. I'm throwing a Pyro Ball for you. I'm trying to keep you alive, Gengar, but you're gonna go down. I know that for a fact. I can TF on you. Can I? I'm, why am I lagging? I'm lagging hard. I can't move. There we go. I'm lagging hard. <laughs> yo, I'm lagging so hard right now. Bro, what you mean? What you mean? Yo, I can't move. <laughs> Look at this. I'm not even moving this. Now it's going. There we go. I wasn't even moving it. I was like, yo, why can't I move? He was probably going to get that anyway, but I could have been able to defend Rotom for a little bit. Is there another? Oh, no, that's his surf. I was going to say, is there another slow bro throwing a surf? But this is a really close game right now. Super close. There's Gardevoir down here, and I'm lagging once again. He has his ult, maybe? He has his ult, maybe? I don't know. But, again, 14 seconds till Zapdos. I'm going to just save my ult and try to get ready. Try to get ready for the Zapdos. He has his ult as well, I think, Cramo does, which is really, really strong. Let's see if I can actually snipe this thing through the bush. Should be right up here, right? Yep. <laughs> Act like I don't see you. Get out of my face. Oh, that, are you kidding me? You see how much damage that thing just did? Ridiculous. I have my ult ready. I'm going to get up in this battle over here. Gengar with one KO. If I can get over there and just send my ult, we can KO these guys and actually grab ourselves uh, grab ourselves Zapdos here as well. I'm going to go down here, but I did a decent amount of damage there. Can Ninetales get a KO? There's a kill by Ninetales. Another one by Ninetales. That is huge. That's all I wanted was to get that ult. And their Ninetales got three kills, but how many did ours do? There's one by him. Let's see. Two. Did he go three? Did he get the three piece? No, I think he only got two. Oh, no, they're going after Zapdos. We got to get after it. Okay, no, Zapdos isn't really at health right now. Let's go. Straight to Zapdos. Straight to Zapdos. Oh, I did a short hop. I want to get out farther. Straight to Zapdos for the win here. Gengar with a big KO. They're all attacking Zapdos. And let's get rid of them. If we can get rid of them, it's going to be GG's. Can I get them? Can we get them? We got them. Let's go. We just need our boys to go run up. Garchomp, go. Garchomp, go. Big Zapdos kill, and that is going to be the game. Did I get zero kills this game? I did. I did indeed. I don't mind it. I don't mind it whatsoever. Let's look at our team. Our team didn't really, like, produce a ton of kills. Gengar did hang out with us. But there we go. Going to grab ourselves 2-0 and and showcase how to play Cinderace in this mode. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got to love it. You got to love it. You got to love it. I'm actually glad we didn't really get too many kills because it's not like we were dying a lot. I think we died maybe, like, two or three times this battle. We play position really well and just showcase Cinderace to his fullest potential here. But if you guys want to catch me playing Cinderace a little bit more and getting a lot more kills and better games with them, make sure you guys follow my Twitch. You guys already know the deal. Actually, I can get a kill here. Dang it! <laughs> Didn't get one. It's all good. It is all good. Let's keep rocking here. Go after this Crustle. Can we take this thing out? I want this Crustle dead. I want him dead. I want him dead. Give it to me. I got him! I got him! <laughs> Wait, did I, did I get him? Or no, I think I might have got an assist. Let's see. I think I got a Garchomp. I said Garchomp, but Garchomp was out there unless he, like, poked out in the bush. And I hit him. But there's a win. Back-to-back -back wins. Your boy did not get the kill. Dang it. Four assists. Didn't play bad. Did not play bad. I'll say that again because I think we played solid and we played good position in order to get ourselves to win for today's video. We were able to go back to back in today's video, showcasing Incinerate one of the best ranged attackers in this game, and I was able to push up to my next class, which is class 3 in that expert rank. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.